Hello everyone, this is just a quick video to go over the uh, introduction speech that you will have due later this week. I know many people were kind of freaking out because it says it's due today on the calendar. Once again, uh, as I've said many times, this is not a normal semester, so we kind of have to be a little bit more fluid. So, so pay attention to the due dates that I'm announcing and not necessarily just go by that calendar. So, so you're getting a little bit more uh, time here to get this done and completed um, because I haven't heard a lot from you all online, but I know there's still some of my face-to-face -face students that are still without internet access, still trying to get out of shelters, things of that nature. So we're a bit, trying to be a bit more fluid here. So the introduction speech that you have, um, First things first, please go to the content tab of D2L. There you'll find the questions that you are going to answer that are going to make up your speech. So there are about six questions that you need to answer. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna go through those questions now, but I'm gonna give you some tips here in a bit to, to better prepare you for that speech. And the due date, as I said before, is now Saturday, September 16th at 11.59 p.m., although the Dropbox will be open starting today. First things first, uh, you have to have a minimum of three minutes and a maximum of four minutes. So this introductory speech is about three to four minutes. One of the things I want you to take note of though, is when I watch your video, I don't start my timer until you start talking. So, and then I stop it when you stop. So some people will look at their video and look at the time on the video and the time on the video might say three minutes, but the actual talking time is only maybe two minutes and 40 seconds. Well, then that's under time. So you have to be aware of this when it comes to your time. It's not, we're not going by the time the camera cuts on. I'm going by the time you start talking and the time you stop talking. As I said before, going over or under the time limit will result in points being deducted. So you have a minute there to play with. So a minimum of three minutes, maximum of four minutes. Professional dress not required for this speech. You do have to have the five audience members though. And what I want you to do is have your video show the audience um, before you start speaking and no resources or sources are needed. You can try to have some if you wanna practice, but this is mostly uh, about you. So no resources or so, or no resources or sources are needed. Some couple of things that might help you out. I would write out your answers first, then practice your speech a few times and then record. Remember, this is not an impromptu speech. Impromptu is you just print out the questions and you just go. It's very easy to tell people who have practiced and who haven't if you don't practice and you just try to wing it or make it an impromptu speech or ad lib it, it's not going to result in the best grade. Uh, this speech should help you start to get a feel of what it's like to give a speech in an online course, uh, speaking in front of a certain audience, recording the speech, and then uploading it to Dropbox. So you're getting into that, that frame of mind, that system. And one of the things I want you to do is test your camera or your video or your phone which, or iPad, however you're recording it, before you start. The reason I want you to do this is because uh, a common issue that I've seen with online speeches is I can barely hear you. And y'all have to keep in mind, I have the top of the line technology, I'm not trying to brag, but I have technology that allows me to pu push the volume up sky high. And if I do that and still are not able to hear you, that's not going to yield the best possible grade. If you have any questions, just send me an email. Don't freak out about this speech. This is just kind of a get started type speech. Uh, you'll see everything uploaded under the content tab of D2L under introductory speech. And I wish you the best of luck.